Hello, this is Wiz from MixSensei.com, coming to you for SoftTube. The SoftTube FET compressor is based on the most famous hardware FET compressor ever, the 1176. Known for its dynamic sound, its hardware equivalent has been used on countless records throughout decades. With the help of SoftTube modeling, this classic compressor sound is now available in plug-in format for your favorite DAW. The controls of the FET compressor are divided into two sections, the big knobs and the small knobs. The big knobs reflect the parameters available on the original hardware, whereas the small knobs give you more control, making it a very versatile plug -in. The input and output help you drive the compressor, as well as compensate for any volume loss. Because there is a fixed threshold, simply drive the input louder to get more compression. The ratio knob has the original ratios of the hardware, but it is also variable, meaning that you can choose ratios in between, not possible with the hardware. Lastly, the attack and release settings changes how fast the compressor starts to compress and how fast it should recover from the gain reduction. The small knobs, also known as the detector controls, let you control how the compressor should work. Use the external chain if you're using an external side chain from another track, such as a kick drum to a bass track. The low and high cut are very useful in filtering out any frequencies so that they don't affect the compressor. More on this later. The look ahead can be used if the fastest attack time isn't fast enough, in case you want to apply some heavy limiting to the signal. Finally, the parallel inject lets you blend the compressed signal with the dry signal giving you a built-in parallel compression within the same plugin. In this first example, we're using the small faders to feed the individual drum tracks to the FET compressor, running in parallel. Notice how much punch it gives to the drums, even with gentle compression. On this bass guitar, we'll use the FET compressor to only compress the frequencies above the low cut setting. This lets the low frequencies cut through without being compressed, while giving character and shaping the tone of the rest of the instrument. Lastly, on the guitar solo, we'll use the fast release setting to complement the player's shredding. Thank you. 
please visit softube.com.